back to the locker room with Coach Littonic? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought our team played from beginning to end in this game. We, we stood a couple runs, which we knew Central Michigan would because they're a, a good team and a very well-coached team. Um, but when our team shoots the ball as well as we did today, we're usually going to have a pretty good chance to win because I feel like our defense uh, typically has been pretty consistent for us all year long. Um, AJ got us out of the gates with her shooting. Markeisha was just a warrior in there. I mean, if you saw, if you got a, even a glimpse of that finger, I mean, that was ugly. And uh, for her to come back and play and have the kind of game she's had, that's actually back-to-back -back games with her. She's kind of in the groove, and uh, when she when she's doing that, she's tough on both ends of the floor. Um, hard passes it's definitely this girl right here and uh, so it was definitely a bullet but uh, it got tipped as well and um, I think the tip with the hard pass it just just kind of went out that way and I, I, I honestly thought there was like a hole in the ball because I couldn't feel my finger and I thought my finger like went inside something mm -hmm. so and then I was after I shot it I looked at the ball and then I saw my finger and I was like I should probably get subbed out Well, what much better job this time. The first time we played them, they really owned the rail, we call it rail drives. We just had a, an awful time keeping Turner under wraps. Um, so we thought our gap help defense was going to have to be really, really good today, and I think it was for the most part. But they're so hard because if you gap help too much or too long, now you're giving up shots to a Kirby Tam or a Green or um, a Swari. Um, so they're really difficult to guard, and I thought our team did a pretty good job of being able to do a little bit of both. Uh, where we could at least get Turner slowed down for a fraction enough time to maybe get somebody in front of her and, and make a difference at the rim. And then keep them off the glass. I mean, uh, we out rebounded them by two, and they got more offensive rebounds, but we told our team they probably would. Uh, they're just that good and that hard to keep off the offensive glass. Uh, we felt what we had to do was match their effort, and even if we did, if we could, I look at this, it's 1914, it's, it's kind of what I thought it might be, and I thought we had a great effort there. I warmed up well and I was feeling it and sometimes there's just games where it doesn't matter what you do, it'll go in if you get your feet set and we caught a lot of plays that had me um, kind of cutting and then going off screens to get myself open at, at the wing and good screens from my teammates got me open and it was just easy to hit them after that. Is it harder or easier for a player to face an opponent a third time is, uh, in your mind? Um, I kind of like that we split with them, just because if we beat them twice, we might, you know, underestimate them. It is a rivalry game, so a lot was on the line. Um, it's tricky playing a team a third time. Right. Um, well, a lot of things that we always talk about is we know teams are gonna are gonna double and triple team us in the post. So we know if that we're gonna if we're gonna get the ball, we gotta make a decision right away. Either we're gonna reverse pivot and kick it out right away, or if you see that you have a couple inches, you gotta hurry and just get the shot off. But you have to definitely know what you're gonna do or have some type of idea what you're gonna do before you get the ball. I'm I'm left-handed. I don't use my right hand much anymore. Bothered me. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, where's Sarah? Get out there quick. <laughs> yeah, it really wasn't that bad. It just feels jammed. Any, any further questions for Marquisha or AJ before we let them get back to the locker room? If not, ladies, we'll let you get back. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 20 win season under head coach Shane Lipsall. That's first since uh, 2003. Also, back-to-back -back, back wins uh, in the tournament. Two wins in the tournament, also the first since 2003. Uh, only the fourth time in school history that we've had a 21 season. We're one win shy of tying uh, the program record of 21 wins. Yeah. You guys are a team that looks on paper played exceptionally well at home. One of those losses to Buffalo is now yeah. played tomorrow. Yeah, 
weird game. I mean, we'll, we'll dive into that one because neither team, actually, if you ask Buffalo, Buffalo would probably say they didn't play very good in that game either. It's just an ugly game uh, from beginning to end. Um, we, we struggled mightily to score the ball on our own court. I mean, honestly, we, we were having some internal issues we were dealing with um, from within, and it actually, that, that started the stretch of where we, I think we lost four in a row or four out of five. I don't know, I'm trying to forget it, to be honest with you. But it really was the beginning of a stretch where we struggled uh, from within. I mean, we, we just had some turmoil. It was nothing major. It was just um, chemistry, you know, it just was team chemistry issues. and. Um, it took us a while to figure that out, pinpoint it, and get some things uh, together and some people to sit down and talk about things. But, um, yeah, it seems like a long, long time ago, but it really was. And you're playing much better now. Yeah. So what about going into that game now and matchup? Yeah, it's going to be, you know, I think this game prepared as well for that, for what Buffalo does. I mean, they're a lot of zone. They're big. They're strong. They're athletic. Um, they're big at all their positions. They shoot the three well. They can drive it. I mean, they're, they're uh, an exceptional team. You have to be able to score against them. Um, you know, and their size, typically size, uh, sometimes size will give us issues, so we got to be able to, our kids are ready to deal with that. Um, and then rebounding is going to be a huge key, much like today was. Coach, 24 assists get to be Oh my gosh, sometimes I think we're the worst passing team on the planet. And then, you know, I mean, 24, that's, I don't know where that's at, Chris and season and I, and um, I don't think there's been a team since I've been there, just had that many too. I didn't realize that, to be honest with you. Uh, I knew we were shooting the ball really well, and you know, we t we tweaked our offense honestly a lot, and not a lot, a very subtle thing in one of the sets that we run a lot of, and that's why AJ was getting so many shots. We really bypassed that a lot the first time that we played Central, or the second time we played him up there, which gave us scoring issues. But um, I, I say this a lot about our team: we don't have to shoot it great from three. We have to shoot it somewhere between good and awful. And uh, when we do that, typically we'll, we'll give ourselves a chance. Thank you.